The UCLA Bruins are at odds of plus 3,300 to win the 2016 College Football National Championship, and they are at odds of plus 500 to win the Pac-12 Conference Championship. Last season saw the Bruins go 10-3 straight up, 5-8 against the spread, and 5-7-1 on the over-under. UCLA head coach Jim Mora enters his first season without the leadership of quarterback Brent Huntley, who took his talents to the NFL after setting numerous team records. And the Bruins enter the new year with some concerns under center. And there is talk in camp that a freshman might be getting the call to lead the Bruins for the next few years to come. Despite junior quarterback Jerry Neuheisel having seen time last year, mostly in mop-up duty, he is now being challenged by newcomer Josh Rosen, who attended St. John Bosco High School for the starters role. UCLA returns 17 starters from last year's squad, in addition to both returning special teams kickers. Although the loss of Hundley will be seen as difficult to replace, no one in Bruins camp is expecting anything less than a Pac-12 championship. As mentioned, Jerry Neuheisel probably thought that he would have the edge on the starting quarterback position with the departure of Brent Huntley. But Josh Rosen began taking classes early in January so he could come into camp early and apparently it has paid off. With a familiarity to the UCLA style of offense from his high school program, the 6'4 Rosen is listed as the likely starter this season. But it has led to Asianti Woolard transferring out of Westwood assuming his role would have been extremely limited for the Bruins in 2015 and beyond. Whatever quarterback does eventually start the season against Virginia on September 5th, he will have a bevy of talent returning to the offense. The entire offensive line is set to begin a second season together, and nine overall starters are returning. One of those starters is the Pac-12 leading rusher in 2014, Paul Perkins. Perkins amassed 1,572 yards on 250 carries, averaging an astounding 6.3 yards per carry and an additional 201 yards on 26 receptions. Six of the top seven receivers also returned from last season. Eight starters return on the defensive side of the ball, although three big players from 2014 departed to the NFL. Defensive coordinator Tom Bradley does have Takaris McKinley, who saw action in 10 games a year ago after coming in as a Juco transfer last season. Junior returning starters, Eddie Vanderdose and Kenny Clark will fill out the front line in the Bruin 3-4 scheme. Linebacker Miles Jack is likely to head to the NFL after this season, and he will be making a move to the inside this season to stuff the opposing run game. He will be joined by Kenny Young, who appeared in all 13 games last season. UCLA enters the 2015 season in the preseason top 15 in the coaches poll and in the top 20 throughout the country in the AP, Sporting News, and Lindy polls. With so much talent running on offense, it might not matter who ends up with the starting quarterback assignment as long as the defense does their part. Although five tough road games at Arizona, Stanford, Oregon State, Utah, and a season finale at USC will not be easy to navigate. For our pick and prediction, an eight-win season seems reachable, and a nine-win season would certainly be seen as a huge success, with a freshman quarterback and some key losses on defense. As long as Paul Perkins can stay healthy, he will determine how far this team eventually goes. So we will call for eight or nine wins this season for the Bruins, which will give them a decent bowl game berth. With USC expected to take the division and Arizona State expected to have a decent season, UCLA will have their crack at both of them, which will decide who comes out of the Pac-12 South and what bowl game the Bruins eventually play in. For our UCLA Bruins betting predictions, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.